This is Gavroche, and he's going to help us with a demo today. As you can see, we've got two pencils on the ground. The pencil on the left, we're going to say, is at an initial position x0, and the pencil on the right is at a final position x. The straight line distance between this initial x0 and this final x is called the displacement. So if I have a little doggy, and he starts here, and he winds up here, that's his displacement, regardless of the path that he takes. Now we're going to see uh, what Gavroche does with displacement in a second, because what's going to happen is we're going to put a doggy biscuit here, and we're going to put another little doggy biscuit here, and then finally we're going to have a little doggy biscuit at this pencil right here. And what Gavroche is going to do is, he's a very bad doggy. He doesn't go from X not to X. He goes all around. So he starts here, and he goes back here, and then he wanders here, and, and then he sort of meanders around, and then finally he makes it to the end. Well, this crazy path that he takes is the distance that he covers. The fact that he starts here and ends here, this coordinate x minus the initial coordinate x0 is his displacement. So Gavrov starts at x0, he eats a biscuit, he looks around for another biscuit. And of course, he doesn't find it because he's a very silly doggy. Then he actually gets negative displacement right here because he's behind the pencil, moves forward, gets some positive displacement, covering a lot of distance as he walks, but not as much displacement. In fact, I dare say his distance would be greater than his displacement at this point. And then finally he gets the last biscuit and he has his full displacement 